1982, the country was declared single party. And therefore, democracy was closed. And that is when now the detentions, the arrests started. I'm here today to commemorate the time that we spent in, uh, at this place undergoing torture. I can remember I was in room number two, the way they had numbered it. The way they had numbered it, I was in room number two. I used to walk a distance going to the toilet naked, completely naked. And the toilet had no doors. It was just open. And the Ascaris were just sitting, they had a table outside the toilet. And right now, we are suffering. Nobody is even uh, ready to listen to our plight. And uh, the government itself is not ready to be, to, to listen to us. Your struggle, your relentless struggle, your courage, um, really provide inspiration to Kenya and beyond. The, the fruits of what we have right now, multipartisan, the freedom of speech, the freedom of expression, is actually because of the letters who are, were here in our house, and others in Nyati house, and others who are tortured in prison and other places. There is, um, uh, a wall which was here, which has been demolished, but that there used to be the office where they would control or regulate the temperature of your water, either very cold or very hot. After the water experience, you would be taken out, taken on the other side to the 25th and 26th floor, where you would be now tortured naked. Um, we appreciate the roles, the different roles that each one of you, especially the ones that stayed in these dark dungeons, played. And what KHRC will seek to do is to plug into the government conversation around making Nyao House a memorial. Uh, we will also seek to engage CS Matiangi because I understand uh, for most of us, uh, there's still that aspect of criminal record on your on your records and, and whatever office that we'll have to, to knock and, and, and present our case, I think we'll work together towards that. It is easy for people to think that the horrors we went through cannot possibly be visited on Kenyans again. Uh, those who think so are wrong. The truth is that people who forget their history have uh, the, a misfortune of suffering that history when it repeats itself. Our commitment as the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights to stand with you and other survivors of torture and other gross human rights violations, we will continue to advocate for your rights to an effective remedy, which includes turning Yayo House into a memorial, to give you a voice and a platform to make your legitimate claims heard and to empower networks of survivors to strategize and act collectively in support of your quest for memory and justice.